In this video, we're building a penis swing arm. From a pile of raw steel to fabrication gold. Today, we're making a 26 inch pinner for Donovan. Got all our tubes. Um, the swing arm jig. So that's that's what we're making, but a bit smaller. I'm going to chuck these things in acetone to clean them up before they get bolted into the jig. Here's the dropouts. That is that. You know, it gets folded up and turned into a gusset for the swing arm. All the bits are in the jig now, apart from the tubes, obviously. That's got to go into there. Look at that. This one goes into here, hopefully. There we go. And then these have got to fit into here, like this. Set the dropouts at the right angle. So, making this bit now, this one. So we need to cut that to length and then squish it. But we need to clean them up and make them nice and shiny before we can squish them and put them in the bike frame. Singing my jig for squishing the tubes. Where these tubes meet the main pivot, they're offset a little bit. Yep, bits like that. Jobby here has got to be offset. So there we go, that's those two notcherud. Cut the straight bit along there. Those two fitting on. Now we just need to get the other end to, to match up. This end of the tube is not offset, so we take that little spacer out. See it's a bit too long. So we need to take a few more, take a few more scrapes, and it fits. Now for the other side. All right, so I've got those two. Just need to give them a bit of an acetone, and I'm going to tack them in place. Those bits are lightly tacked in place. Mostly just getting those tacked in so that this main pivot point here is in the right position. And next up is to notch the chain stays and seat stays. It's quite a lot of faff getting this thing set up, so that's why I didn't bring you along for the ride. Basically, we've got this thing here at the back that sets the axle width. 
We've got this thing here that sets the tyre width. These two jobbies hold the stays at the front. The rubber band holds the stays at the back. You can watch me do that if you want. And here you can see we've got all these burrs and edges and stuff on it, so we need to tidy that up. So as you can see here, the drive side seat stay gets a little curve into it for the chain. Seat stay that's going to get bent for bendy tool. Now that end is done, we make them fit in here. So we'll start with the chain stays. Chain stay right, goes in here, we've got to cut this end and make it fit. So it's got to come down a bit till it like kind of meets that chamfered edge there. Just there. Pretty happy with that for a first cut. So it's just that, repeat by four. See you in a bit. So that is the chain stays and seat stays. I just need to clean out the insides now. You do that with just a bar and a bit of sandpaper, a little slot cut in the, in the bar. Sandpaper in there, wrap it round, spin her up. All right, so that's what we're looking for. Nice and shiny. If it's scummy on the inside of the tubes, it comes through when you're welding it, so it's got to be clean. But that's only the start of it. We've got to acetone it all now, and then we can tack it into the frame. Ooh. All of the tubes are stuck. But now I just need to get a ton more and hey, like all around here, like in line with the jig. Get all those done first. Yeah, um, I don't know. Do you want to? Do you want to come along for that? So this is a gusset that goes in between here. You've got to clean up all the edges as well. Anywhere that's going to be welded on, you want to remove that scale. So I haven't done it on here yet. 
That's the inside bits done. Do the outsides around these bits. But this little jobby here. Now this bit needs to be squished. So I have got a little squishy jig for that. then goes in here then over to the fly press and we squish it so that those bits bend that's the plan anyhow so this now fits in there a like so so now start welding the rest of it up keeps it where it is because you've already welded up the inside and by the time you weld up the outside you should just kind of drop out and the spacers should yeah, I found that's the technique that makes it work. So there, welding. Ian was back of the pack. Ian was ahead of Andy and Ian. He's a big fella, he's like 18, 20 stone. I don't know, but yeah. He was, he was lapping you, wasn't he? I am ridiculous, I swear. Uh, when I saw the cable pound go. But you didn't really miss much, just me sitting there on my mask back in the jig now uh, because I'm going to cut the chain ring clearance out of here. Tuck those spaces back in. This is a weld that in, it's going to move about and that's how these spaces go in after I do that little welding technique. You know, welding up the insides first and then the outsides. That one, look at that, straight in. And that one, look at that. That is the mustard right there. I bloody ate mustard. I got spoonfuls of powdered mustard as punishment as a kid. Can't stand the stuff right now. So I just need to tidy this bit up now. jig here to drill a hole in the stay for the brake mount. Once again more clean up get it out the tube before you weld anything in there otherwise you end up with some rattlers. No one wants a rattler inside their bike frame do they? No. I well, know I don't. Anyway using a file, clean it up, clean the inside out, shape the gubbins out. Not a not an Instagram post, just silly bum. This brake post. It's gotta fit in here like so. Start off with a bit of paper and some dirty fingers. Give her a rubbing. is now all welded in the brake mount is all welded in now we need to check the alignment before we chuck that gusset in surface plate do that then welding in the gusset
those little bits. They get welded into there like so. Quite a bit of stuff to do those. Guss it in there. Okay, so that's all tacked in now. Just needs welding. Weld in here as well. All around here as well. Sweet, so she's all welded up now. Just need a few tidying up bit. Just like so, so then you get a nice clean sort of stress transition. go that's how you make a penis swing arm just need to do a final alignment check on it and then spray it down with some oil so it doesn't start rusting while I build the front end